Well hello and uh, welcome. My name is Peter Waters, G3OJV and this is another little video. This time it's about a product which I think it represents extremely good value. Uh, if you're a VHF operator on two meters uh, then you might be interested in this, particularly if you go portable. Um, it's a diamond Yagi, a five element Yagi from Diamond. Now Diamond aren't known for making Yagis, primarily they're making mobile whips and uh, uh, base station verticals. But they do some very interesting little Yagis. So let's have a look in the box and see what you get. Here's the uh, antenna unpacked, and as you can see, it's a very uh, simple uh, package. And if we go in here, you can see that the connection to the driven element is via a very convenient SO239 socket. And as you can see, the elements are in parallel at the moment to the boom. And if I bring this up here and show you, um, there's a wing nut there. And if we undo that wing nut, then we can rotate the element into its uh, correct operating position. I'll put that down there and show you. You can see that element now is um, that way. It's in the correct operating position, and likewise, we can um, and we can. Uh, position all the other elements which makes it uh, quite handy for um, uh, portable work. Now you can see here I've um, uh, loosened uh, the elements. Uh, there's only four elements shown because I haven't put the driven element in place yet. And uh, of course uh, I haven't tightened up the um, wing nuts. The only thing I would say is that um, there is no marker for the centre of the element. These elements here can be slid backwards and forwards um, in their little sort of plastic saddle, but uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to uh, find the uh, central position there. Now this is the uh, driven element, and I don't know if you can see that there, there's a little tiny plastic pip there and if I turn it that way you can I think you can see uh, there's a saddle arrangement there that um, fits uh, on the boom. This pip is quite important um, because uh, it's a locating point on the boom and there's a threaded socket there. Now if we lift this up it's in the shot um, that's where the little plastic pip goes and there's a wing nut and bolt coming through there which goes into the um, driven element uh, housing. Now here's a close up of the um, driven element mounted on the boom. If I turn it round um, you can see there the um, Driven element, very convenient uh, SO239 socket, totally weatherproof. And here's a shot of the um, uh, finished antenna. Um, five elements, and uh, well, it's uh, it's so simple to uh, put together. Uh, I would say you could put it together in about three or four minutes. Well, I've got the tape measure out here and it's uh, showing a boom length of uh, 38 inches. And uh, the longest element is showing 41 inches. Now, one thing you will need to know is that uh, this um, U-bracket here for mounting the mast is one and a half inches, which I think is 38 millimeters. Uh, so uh, it won't go on a two inch mast. You'll have to provide 
um, a one and a half inch or a bit less than that because obviously you can you can use a slightly smaller mask but I would say between one inch and one and a half inches one and a half inches being the maximum well there we are that's the uh, five element Yagi diamond they also do a 10 element two meter Yagi and they do a couple of uh, Yagis for 70 cents so please check them out they're on our website or if you've got any further questions don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email so until next time, enjoy your ham radio.